Hi, hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames. In this video we are going to take a look at any portrait, which is a thing to animate faces and stuff, you know, talking faces. And this one has a very good quality, as you can see here. This one is self-driven, so basically the text, I guess, is driven this. And then we have these ones that are video to video. You can see here some examples and it's very good, like with video to video, it's very good. And then you have the audio driven one. And sorry, I don't put the audio on this, I think, but you can see the quality is good. And yeah, so let's go and check out the, the website, the repo for Comfy UI. There is a repo also for SD Web UI. I might uh, do another video on that one. So you can come in here and git clone this. Please start the repo for. But now we can do it here. So just come in here and git clone this. And go into your custom nodes. And we're gonna go into a Comfy UI Windows Portal, custom nodes. Okay, so now we're gonna type CND in the address bar. Like, uh, probably let's zoom in and check. So CND and press enter and this will open the custom prompt right so you have your command prompt now in here you just git clone and paste that address that we were taking from the repo right and now you are basically installing this thing in your computer and when this finish we are gonna into comfy ui portrait so we're gonna copy this folder and we're gonna move into it so move into that folder and now we are in the correct folder where the requirement files is so now we can go do our python portable thing it's pointing to a python uh, portable and installing the requirements and as you can see everything is still installing and i gonna probably post a video after this finish if it takes a while then Okay, so here we are, we finished installing the thing and now we can close this and close this again. Okay, now so let's go into the Windows portable and run the Navia GPU.bat and see if everything is installed correctly. Let's see uh, the thing loading and stuff. Okay, I have an error like fmpeg is not coming up. So I'm gonna copy that and just Wait a second and show you how to fix it. So I think the load and I'm gonna go into my manager and in install pip packages. I can paste that fmpeg and say okay and restart the thing. And probably this will fix the stuff that we need for it to work. So let's uh, close this and see what is happening in the background. You can see that it's installing fmpeg. Okay, now that we have the repo installed, we can load the workflow and to load the workflow, you need to go into your custom nodes, to your custom nodes and look for the Aniport trade one and there is a workflow here that you can open. And now we have this thing in here. So if you need to uh, get the KJ nodes and the VHS node, you can come into the manager and just install custom nodes. Just look for VHS for KJ here and just install these things from the, from the manager, right? So let's go. And there is one more thing. Also my, my repo, you can look for impact frames, if AI, actually if AI tools and get this one. So you can get the repo really quickly, so. Uh, we're gonna put a display node here and then go into this uh, folder which are like the weights that we're gonna need and let's copy this uh, thing so we're gonna zoom in you copy this and come into a repo and that's the repo id that we need to paste in here for the folder we're gonna select we're gonna go into the models Right, right, let's see the models, right? And then go into diffusers. And after that, you just have to create a folder here, new folder called any portrait. And that's your folder that you're gonna select. You're gonna copy this uh, address from the address bar. Ah, 
and we are going to paste this into the folder pad and we're going to select the mode to all repo and then just before doing uh, running the queue it's a good idea to bypass these nodes Control v to bypass and now you can do q and after running the queue you're gonna have this thing downloading all the folders all the files that you're gonna need and we will come back in a minute to show you how to use the repo finally when we have all the different files that we're going to need okay we have a couple of more things to download which are like the what to back and image encoder and if you have if you don't have the VAEs and the stable diffusion 1.5 you can download them now but we're gonna go and delete this now probably or control b to uh, disable that one and we're gonna enable uh, these ones so in here we're gonna just change the the location of all files and just come in here change this and on this one we are also going to select one video that we're gonna uh, take as the driver for this thing and basically we can come in here copy and paste that into here and this video is called congratulations mp4 we're gonna get that again to get the web file And we can run this and I'm gonna come back in a second when this thing finish probably <laughs> let's see okay so here we are back we have the result for the character and you can see this animation is being driven by this other uh, video of this girl that she's doing a monologue there I think it's something from David Lynch Twin Peaks or something like that and you can see I have to make the character like a 512 by 512 with these crops and resize things. You can get these notes from the essential pack. This is by Cubic. And yes, you can see I also did the same for the girl. I, I made it like 512 by 512 at the end. And one more thing that you need to pay attention is like your your audio file has to be only voice it can be any any noise around or music it has to be only voice and i use like podcast enhance uh, or podcast adopt something uh, i'm gonna put the link in the description for this is something to clean up your audio and one more thing that you need to be aware of is when you make your Stable Diffusion SD pad, you have to come into your Stable Diffusion 1.5. If you don't have like this folder before, then you can use like my note to download everything, but you can. The thing that you're gonna need is this unit thing. So you're gonna need to have the, the PyTorch mode here and I think you're gonna have to have the FP16 if you're gonna go for half point values on this if you go for the FP32 you're gonna have to select the corresponding one that you like that you like and this has been all for this one more thing is that 120 frames 18 frames per second took like five minutes so this take quite a long time I, I thought it will be a bit faster but the quality is not bad i think i like it so if you like this video please subscribe and i hope you enjoy this i think it's a lot of work for just moving a face but depending on what you need so i'm just showing you this but but i i think the quality is good yeah so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one bye bye